my name is Becky Jennings and I'm the creator of The Balance Method. Welcome to your advanced workouts of your first trimester. This is the lower body series and I'm really excited to bring it to you. It's four killer exercises. We're doing it two times. So like always, make sure that you've been cleared to work out and your doctor is giving you the thumbs up and is saying, please work out. Make sure that you are doing it safely though. So if you're wearing a heart rate monitor, if you get up to that 150 beats per minute, I want you to slow it down. If you can't say a sentence during this workout, stop, take a break. Just use your body's cues. It's very smart, so it will tell you when you need to stop, okay? As always, make sure you have plenty of water on hand so that you can stay hydrated, and please continue to breathe through this workout. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start with a nice, gentle jog. We're getting our knees up a little bit higher than normal, pumping those arms more than we used to. Good job. If your boobs are still really sore, totally normal, go ahead and hold them here. I know that sometimes feels a little bit better. Good, going into jumping jacks, take it out to the side. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Feet about hip width apart. We're going into squats. All the weight is in the heels. Shooting the buns back. Chest stays lifted. Down. Squeeze the buns. Exhale on the hardest part of the move, which is pushing your body weight up. Halfway there. Good job. We're just warming up. Getting those muscles nice and warm. Two more. Last one. Good, separate the feet nice and wide. Arms out to the side, touch opposite toe. You're trying to get your pinky finger to your pinky toe, so pinky to pinky. Nice way to warm up the back of the legs and the hips. Nice job. Let's do one more each side. Good. Take those feet closer together and nice big arm circles. Your arms are going to be holding weights, so you got to make sure those are nice and warm. Reverse. Good. Chest open and close, open, close. That means you're arching the back, round the back, arch and round. Give me two more. And last one right there. So this workout, I have heavies and lights. I also have those mini bands that we've been using, medium and light resistance. We're gonna start with those mini bands. Take the medium resistance, putting it right around the knees. Okay, take the light resistance right around the shins. Okay, just like we did in the intermediate, we're gonna go side to side, back to front. We're gonna add on some more advanced exercises, okay? so. Toes are completely parallel, shooting straight forward. The feet never deviate, they're always parallel. You are in a nice squat position, pushing against the bands. So from the side, it looks like this, okay? My booty is shooting back, my chest is lifted, my knees are directly over my shoelaces, and I'm pushing against the band here. Here we go, tiny steps to the side and push. Just warming up those buns. Up, rest, down, other way. We're doing them a little bit faster than we did in the intermediate. Up, good, I'm gonna move to the center. We're taking it back, nice and low. Here we go. Beats burn. Good, up and rest. Here we go forward. And rest. Huh. Okay. Squats. We're going.
in 10 squats, pulse for three, then come up. So 10 regular. Good. Right here. Two, three, four. Push against the band. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down for three. Pulse. One, two, three. Squeeze. One, two, three. Squeeze. Push out. Two, three. Squeeze. Good job. One, two, three. Squeeze. One more. Two, three. And rest. Good. We step touch in the intermediate. We're going to add a little bit of a hop. So we're hopping to the side, touching in the center. So hop, hop. Good. These are burning up those legs. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, you deserve to take these off. Good job. Okay, grab some water. We're going into some squats. Okay. We're gonna grab one heavy weight. We're holding it in the center. We are going to drop down into the squat, letting the weight fall. When we come up, we're taking it to the chest. Okay, so feet are about hip width apart. Our buns are gonna shoot back, okay? Chest stays lifted. 10 regular squats, then 10 squat jumps. Here we go. Down. Two. Good. Three. Four. Exhale up. Almost there. Two more. Last one. Hold the weights. Come down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Go ahead and grab both heavy weights. We're moving into the single leg deadlift and then a single leg deadlift hop from the side so you can see what it looks like. I'm loading all of the weight onto one leg, putting all of the weight to the heel, separating my toes in the shoe. Okay, finding my balance. And by that, I'm just staring at a focal point right ahead of me so I don't lose balance. Okay, staring at that point, dropping the weights in front, slight bend in this knee, straight leg in the back, come all the way up. We're gonna do that real time, okay? So that's down and up. We're gonna do 10, then 10 hops, which we drop the weights for, okay? Here we go. Down and up. These are my absolute favorite for the buns. And inner thighs and hamstrings. Needless to say, I love these. This is nine, we have one more. Come all the way up, drop those weights. Nice little hop, so up. Good, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Whew, nicely done. Okay, grab some water real quick. And we're moving on to squat or single leg deadlifts on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna stay facing this angle so you can stay uh, aware of posture. So load up on that other leg, toes are separated in the shoe, all the weight is in the heel, and my gaze is forward at a focal point. We're coming down. Squeeze that leg. Slight bend in the knee. Good job. This is halfway. We have three, two, one. Come all the way up, then drop those weights. 
Here we go for those hops. One. Almost there. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Are your buns burning? Mine are. Okay, grab some water. One more exercise, then re repeat. Okay, I have my heavy weights again. We're going into a side lunge to a curtsy, 10 total movements on each side. So what that looks like, actually let me move these bands out of the way. So I'm stepping off to the side, putting all of the weight into my heel, shooting my booty back, keeping my knee straight, coming up, taking it off to the side, dropping in to a curtsy. Okay, here we go. You ready for this? Take it down. Meet in the middle, off to the side. Good. Nice, we are working those buns from every angle. Nice. Let's do one more. Whew. Great job. Shake it out, moving to that other side. Take it into the lunge. Center, curtsy, center. Almost there. We have four more total. Four, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, now the lightweights are there in case you need to pare down. If not, keep with the heavies, keep pushing yourself. Let's grab some water and then those mini bands. Okay, start with the medium on top. That medium resistance and get that light resistance around the shins and ankles. We're not going to do the full series, but we are going to do those hops. Okay, take it to the side, tap in the center. Side. Awesome. This is 10, you've got 10 more. One, two, three, oh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Holy cow, those burn. Kind of fun to put in the middle of the workout too. Normally, I just do it with my clients at the beginning, but I like to spice it up, put it in the middle as well. Okay, grab one heavy weight. Separate your feet a little wider than hip width. We're going into that squat with the bicep curl into squat hops. Ready for this? Inhale and exhale big. Here we go. Down, up. Good, exhale. Make sure you're breathing. This is eight, you have two more. Nine, hold it here. 10 squat jumps. Here we go, down, two, three, four, five. You got this, seven, eight, nine, 10. Awesome, good job. Grab that other heavy weight. We are moving in to single leg deadlifts with a little hop at the end. I'm gonna do them facing forward this round so you can see how my leg looks, chest looks, the whole nine yards. Okay, all the weight is in one heel, toes are separated in the shoe. We're taking it down to right about the shins, up and squeeze. I'm gonna stare at my focal point. Awesome job.
You guys got this. You are so close. Three more. Three. Squeeze that booty. Two. And one. Drop the weights. Going into that hop. Make sure they're not next to you. So you're not going to hit them. And up. Two. Three. Four. Five. You got this. Six. Use this legs to drive you up. Eight. Nine. And ten. Ooh. Give that guy a little, a little shake. I don't know about you, but the sweat's dripping off me. Okay. Here we go. Other leg. Again, this is my unbalanced leg, so I'm a little bit more wobbly. I have to put some extra work into this leg. That's what you're experiencing too. Don't feel bad. Okay, here we go. Stare at your focal point. We're coming down and up. Oopsie. Awesome squeeze. Halfway there. Five. Four. Exhale up. Three. Two, one more. Good, drop those weights. Moving into those hops, here we go. One, two, three, four, use this leg. Five, six, seven, eight, almost there. Nine, and 10. Whew. Okay, water real fast. One more exercise. How are you feeling? You should be so proud of yourself. You are doing such an exceptional job. I'm proud of you. You're here. You showed up. Oh, this is amazing. You're going to feel tremendous. I promise you, you'll sleep very well tonight. Okay, side lunge into that curtsy. Take it side. Balance, curtsy, balance. Good. Almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into that other side. Here we go. And exhale when you're coming up. Almost there. Almost there, you got this. One more. Good job. Oh, nice. Awesome job, you guys. Okay, let's stretch it out. So, I want you to come down to the mat so we don't have to worry about balance as we stretch out our bodies. Go ahead, take one ankle across the knee. That figure four stretch that I love, fingertips facing you. Push the chest up. Oh, this should feel so good on the back of the legs. Nice big inhale and exhale. You've done a great job. You just crushed your advanced lower body workout. Go ahead and drop that leg to the side and hug the knee in. Ooh, yes, that feels awesome. Awesome, awesome job, guys. And exhale. I'm so excited to hear how you guys are liking these workouts, what you're doing with them. If you're doing them in the gym, if you're doing them at home, if you're doing them on vacation, on the beach, outside, where are you doing these workouts? Let me know. And take it off to the other side and twist. Awesome. Let's go ahead and lie on your side. Go ahead and take the top leg, stretch out that quad, and push the hips forward. That's going to give you a really nice deep quad stretch. Good. Let's rotate onto the other side. Grab that top leg, pull the heel to the glutes, 
and push the hips forward, giving you a nice, very nice quad stretch. Nice big inhales, letting your body cool down. Feels great. Good, let's put the soles of our feet together. Scoop your body as close to the heels as you can and lift up the chest. Oh, that feels nice. Nice stretch in the inner thighs. And separate the feet nice and long. And we'll go ahead and reach ourselves forward. Oh, that feels heavenly. Awesome job. Just wanted to say thank you again for being here. You did an amazing job. I am so proud of you, and I can't wait to see you in the next workout.